Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Lisa from Smooches Makeup Artistry. Today, I'm not bringing a tutorial to you, but I just wanted to show you guys the results of me washing my mini twists. I've been rocking um, mini twists for about two and a half weeks, and um, this is my first time washing them and actually just refreshing them so that I'm able to extend, you know, the actual hairstyle. So it's basically just encouragement because a lot of times, if you're like me, like I love, I really do love taking care of my natural hair, but there are times when I love just being able to get up and go and not have to worry about it, not having to worry about switching my hair at night, taking it out. You know, this is just a very cool objective style that you can rock and you don't have to worry about much you know um, I use my products when I first style it and that's it I rarely have to add more oil to it if I do it's because I'm just adding it to my scalp um, but the oils and everything I do they last so I'm really product free for about a week and a half until it's time to wash my hair or in this case two and a half weeks so basically what I did I went and I washed it like I would normally wash my hair I did not try to be gentle because ain't nobody got time for that seriously I wanted to get the results from me doing just what I would normally do so I washed it um, this time I did use a shampoo because I had some product built up and it was the L'Oreal Ever Curl system which is sulfate free so I used that and I also used Aussie Moist as my conditioner all of these products I will be talking to you in my, about in my upcoming series called Natural Hair 101. I'm really, really excited about that. There's so much knowledge and there's so many things that I want to discuss that I'm just going to pack it into this series and hopefully it will be able to inspire people with all hair types, okay? Um, but for this style, I basically did that. I let it air dry. Um, right after I washed it, I used my, my um, t-shirt. I used a t-shirt to dry it. And I applied a leave-in. And again, after that, I just let it dry. I slipped the bonnet on and I just went to sleep. Now, this morning when I woke up, this bad boy was whoop, like all the way up here because I have super, super shrinkage. So I wanted to then apply my oils to it and to um, stretch it out. And that's what I did. I applied a mixture of olive and peppermint oil as well as my um, olive, oil twist, olive oil twist and lock gel. So, and I just took that, slid it through my hair, but not too much. I didn't want to saturate it in it. And I took my hair in parts or sections and I just did an underhanded braid. And I just had maybe 12 braids in my hair. And so I recently took those out and this is what it looks like. Also, it is a little fuzzy still, if you guys can see up here. I, you have the option to retwist, you know, your surface hair. I did retwist some of my surface hair. I did not want to do all of it. And what I mean by that is that I retwisted my hair in the back. Um, okay, my hair in the back is a lot looser texture than the rest of it so it was coming loose after I washed it so I just retwisted that a little bit and in the front you can see I retwisted well I retwisted right here I retwisted right here just that edge and that's it um, over here I did not so this is what it still looks like after it being in for two and a half weeks this is not retwisted I usually just wear it like this so it doesn't matter you can't see my edges for this side for the most part, I would, you know, pin it up and rock the hair, something like this. Okay, so that's why I'm supposed to that part. But I'm going to leave these bad boys in for another two weeks and um, then probably start the process all over again. So I hope this helps you guys rock those mini twists. It took me only three hours to actually do this style um, two and a half weeks ago. It is my go-to style. It was my go-to style also with transitioning. Uh, what I did to keep my ends, which were not natural, twisted. Um, I used the same products, but I would roll it with a, a perm rod or just a sponge roller sometimes. And that would just make the two textures work out together perfectly. 
right? So I hope you guys like. Um, I'll try to give you a 360 view. My chair is raggedy as heck, and yeah. Okay, so you're gonna hear all types of noises in a minute, but this is it in the front. Lots of body, lots of movement. So I kind of like that too, because you know, you go outside now, it's fall, it's beautiful, the wind is blowing. You don't have to have no relaxer to have your hair whipped back and forth. No, 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 ma'am. I mean, I'm not hating because it's easy for me to slap a relaxer up in here. I was rocking relaxers for years. So definitely, disclaimer, I am not hating. But I'm just saying, boo, us naturals can get some of that air movement going on as well. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Okay, so this is the side. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Remember, get ready for my series. I'm going to do my first recording um, of it this week. And I'm hoping to have it out no later than Monday or Tuesday. Okay? Thank you guys so much. Please subscribe. Remember to be blessed. But also, and most importantly, be a blessing to someone else. Thank you guys. Smooches.